It's me, Ari Dossett. This morning, I have another message for you. And I want you to pay attention to this message very well. The public lies to you. I'm not talking about everyone out there, but the public in general lies to you. They're lying. Let me give an example. Let me give a parable to you. Let's say you have a woman complaining about her cheating husband. She has proof he's cheating. Uh, she has receipts in the form of uh, screenshots of text messages. She has uh, photographs of him going out with the other woman. So she is mad about the man cheating. But guess what? Next week you see her walk hand in hand with the same guy. And you think, what? But then you hear from other people that she's been doing that this for the past four years. I think, wait, so for the past four years, she's been complaining about her cheating husband. She has proof, she has receipts, she can easily file for divorce, get divorced, and then continue on living without that horrible man. Why is she still complaining about the guy cheating, but she's not leaving the guy? Oh, wait. Now that the guy's in the picture, her cheating husband, he's to blame. Absolutely, he's to blame. And him being to blame affects her. His behavior affects her, absolutely. He is to blame, you can't deny it. But the issue is, why is she keeping herself in a situation where she keeps getting hurt all the time? I mean, he's not the only man on the earth. I mean, hey, if you're a woman and your husband is behaving badly, feminists will support you to get a divorce. They're dating apps today, whatever. Listen, if she leaves the man, she falls for the force and she's out of there. Who can she blame now for her psychological issues? And who can she blame now for her not facing issues in life? Who can she blame now when things don't work out? How can she get sympathy when he's not around? It, that's how it goes. As long as he's around, people will have a hard time pointing out, but she's part of it too. Because why is she keeping herself in a situation? But this thing, she's a woman, and though the feminist influences, if you say, well, she's really in on it too, people are going to say, why are you blaming the victim? You misogynist, blah, blah. So because of that, uh, people tend to shut their mouths, even though they notice it. So as long as she's with that man, all the negative views go to the man, not to her. Remove the man from the picture, arrest the man, put him in prison, or the man dies or whatever. And she's still dysfunctional. She can still say, well, I was traumatized by my abuse, abusive ex-husband, so I need to recover. She can do that for the first year or two. But after three, four, five years, going, uh, going, uh, going further than five years, you're going to think, hold on a minute. It's been over five years since that man left your life. You mean to tell me within those five years, you didn't manage to get any therapy, counseling, whatever? Oh, you're with a new man now. And you're complaining about this new man too. So with the last one, he was cheating. With this man, he's not that active. I'm sorry, but... There may be something wrong with you now. So in this case, she doesn't want to give up escaping, so she's not moving on. She will move away from that ex-husband to another victim that will take her toxicity. But actually moving on, she does not, because she doesn't want to move on. And if it's easier to hide with this current individual with your current husband she will stay with him she will complain about him over and over again but she'll never leave him now it's easy to see that someone is just playing narcissistic games on you when they keep bitching complaining about something but they never actually do something about it when they have the opportunity it's one thing not to realize you have an opportunity to do something about something sometimes you're not even aware you're able to do something about the situation that's different but if the opportunity is there in your face and you just don't do anything about it then i'm sorry but you're just playing narcissistic games. Well, let me tell you, society plays narcissistic games on you. I mean, if there's a politician in office and everyone bitches complains about the politician, there are many options the public has to get them out of office. They come up with a tribunal if they want, but that can be sensitive. But even that, there are other ways they can get rid of this individual. They can even start a petition to remove them from office. And if they if they post enough resistance, eventually the government has to get along because the government doesn't want social unrest. So now understand this. If there's a politician in office, they keep complaining about him, and let's say there's proof, undeniable proof, this man 
has been neglectful to the public. Why then is this guy still in office? Yeah, he has powerful friends, he's part of the cabal, he's part of the Illuminati, blah, blah. No, no, no. Don't call me that. Yes, he may be part of a cabal. He may be part of a call the devil worshippers. That may all be true. But even that devil worshipping cult with the demons behind it, they need your darkness as a population to function. So somewhere you're endorsing what goes on because you don't want to look for better because to look for better, you have to become better. So understand, people can complain for legitimate reasons. Absolutely, that's correct. It's correct complaining for legitimate reasons, as long as you're willing to face it, do something about it. Just complaining is toxic. Only complaining is toxic. But if you complain with the right reason, and for the right reasons, and you are active in a solution, that's fine. But when people are upset, they're complaining, or they're resisting and fighting, but you don't notice they actually have that de dedication to want to improve themselves, whereas individu individuals or as a community, they're playing narcissistic games on you. Now, someone may be dysfunctional. They don't know what to do or how to improve. That's different. But if the opportunities to improve, the opportunities to become better are in their face all the time and they don't do anything with it, they're playing games on you. Don't fall for it. So for now, keep a dream in Christ and be at peace.